Everyone's favourite TV French detective Julien Baptiste is back for a second series. But is he still the best at solving crimes? Or has he lost his touch? Hi, my name is Carl. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another video. Today's video is the review of the BBC crime drama Baptiste Series 2, which is still airing here in the UK every Sunday evening. or All episodes are available to stream now online. Please do not worry if you are only halfway through the series or you haven't even started the Baptiste Series 2 yet. This is a completely spoiler-free review. I won't give anything away. If you're visiting my channel for the very first time, Carly, Neo9. Hello and a massive welcome to you guys. Please consider subscribing and sharing this video if you can because it really does help the channel out and I really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. That Tea series is a spin-off from the British TV drama The Missing which also aired in the States. Brothers Jack and Harry Williams both wrote and created the Missing and also the complete Baptiste series. A short recap on the first series, I'm not going to go too much into this. We first see our favourite French detective, Julien Baptiste, have his own spin-off back in 2019. In the first series, whilst in Amsterdam with his wife, an old friend persuades Baptiste to help the Dutch police with a case to look for a missing girl in the red light district. And we also see him endure a personal horrific tragedy of his own. On to series two and it's almost been two years since the last time we saw Baptiste. The story follows our French detective Julien Baptiste played by the wonderful Cheki Cario who travels to Hungary to help a British ambassador Emma Chambers who's played by Fiona Shaw look for a missing family. Police in Hungary are searching for the family of British ambassador Emma Chambers. If anyone knows anything help me find my family. May I speak with whoever is in charge? Your name? Baptiste. Julien Baptiste. Whatever is happening here, nothing is as it seems. Where are you going with this? Once upon a time, you promised you'd help me. We have to wait eight minutes till we see Julien Baptiste and he's still working and staying away from home, which is causing a huge strain on his marriage. Each episode contains flashbacks of around about 14 years and we get to see the tragedy of what happened to Baptiste's daughter from series one. The present day Baptiste, he's not the man he once was, he's broken, he's got long hair, he's drinking. The story pulls you in in episode one while we follow the British ambassador and her family. But during the first half of episode two, the pace slows right down, but soon picks up again towards the end of episode two. Overall, the story was good and quite dark in places and well put together. Each episode builds on that tension and has you on edge, which is what I liked about the series. I felt myself on edge. A couple of times I was on the edge of my seat going, quick, hurry up, hurry up. And the story does contain twists and turns, which adds to the fun of watching Baptiste. I wasn't sure on the shift in timelines at first, but I feel they did actually work. By the time we got to the final episode, everything was explained and it all come together. They were also used well because something happens in one of the episodes and you think you're going to get an answer and then bang, it goes back 14 years earlier and you're left going, ah. There's also English subtitles with some of the characters as well. Baptiste Series 2 was brilliantly directed and the acting was very strong, as you would expect. The series also stars Ace Batty, who played Nadim, who's part of Emma's team. And we also have Miklos Bears, who played Andras. And we also have Conrad Khan, who played Will Chambers. What I liked about this series is it takes you on a roller coaster ride over the six episodes. And the ending was finished nicely, which was so good to see. Baptiste continues on from the first series, but with a new case, I think if you are a Baptiste fan, then you're not going to be disappointed with the new instalment. And even though this did leave me a little confused at times, it was very entertaining and it did have me binge watching every episode. Series 2 of Baptiste, I feel, is better than Series 1. Having said that, please do join me in the comments. What's your thoughts on Baptiste Series 2? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And what is your favourite Baptiste overall? Is it The Missing, Baptiste Series 1 or Baptiste Series 2? I would love to hear. 
There's six episodes of Back to Series 2. Each episode lasts roughly around about 56 minutes long with no annoying adverts, which isn't that long, and it was so nice not to have them adverts. And they're all available to stream now. There's no sex or nudity, there's mild profanity, and there is some violence, and some of it is actually quite graphic and shocking at times. I'm going to give Back to Series 2 four out of five popcorns. If you would like to know what my popcorn score rating means, I'll leave it down below in my description. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my TV drama review. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can, because it really does help the channel out. I really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. I will be back Monday with a subscriber mail with a difference from my nephew's YouTube channel, Rabid. Let's just say I had all three of us wanting a cold drink. Take care guys, I will see you guys Monday. You've been watching Carl on the channel, Carlinio9. Take care, bye bye.